idea what a community college was or could become. It was a pretty new concept, community college, an idea that grew in Illinois, as you've learned just now, out of the necessity to educate the young men and women returning home after their service in World War II. But I wasn't really interested in studying community college evolution. I was 23, the same age as the college, and uh, I thought I'd spend a couple of years here and then go seek a life of adventure. I thought probably Australia. <laughs> of course, that didn't happen. When the 25th anniversary mem memorabilia were sealed into concrete at the cornerstone of Building One, Building One, uh, that's that one, right? <laughs> it still doesn't have a name. <laughs> when those mementos of the first 25 years were gathered and sealed away, we were young. The college was young, and we were learning and maturing together. And what a wonderful place to learn. Our students were amazing, diverse beyond anything I had ever experienced or imagined out east. We had young people right out of high school. We had workers who discovered BHC when the Farmall plant closed. We had grandparents trying something new in retirement. We had kids who'd grown up in gangs. We had people from Italy and Sierra Leone and Paris and Vietnam. It sounds cliche, but I know I learned more from my students than I ever in a lifetime could have taught. After about a year, it became very clear to me that I was here to stay. The people who had started out as colleagues gradually became friends, so close, in fact, that I married my history professor pal from the office next door. Some of you probably remember Byron Beck, who died too soon a couple of years ago. The lines between work life and home disappeared. Byron and I worked together on parallel committees. We took courses together and separately. And then we team taught a course in comparative religions that kept us going, both challenged and delighted, with long, long conversations well into the morning. Oh, and we had two children together. Um, we were going to name them, in the tradition of this college, BHC Child 1 <laughs> and BHC Child 2. But their grandparents insisted that we give them proper names, and so we did. <laughs> what I'm saying is that Black Hawk College and I grew up together. I'm a little heavier, and sometimes, but not mostly, I walk with a cane. But Black Hawk College just gets smarter and more lovely. At our campuses in Galva and Moline, in our learning centers in Kiwani and East Moline and Rock Island and other places, the college still offers the history and the English courses that Byron and I taught, but it also offers courses and subjects and by methods that were not even dreamed of 75 years ago. Virtual learning? Really? <laughs> BHC has always offered and will continue to offer what it takes for this to be a community of lifelong learners. I should know. Most of my life, my home, and my family has been Blackhawk College. It has been my unique privilege to study at Blackhawk, to teach at the college, to work on committees here, and in an improbable twist for an apolitical creative writing teacher, even to serve for six years on the College Board of Trustees. And so we celebrate the first 75 years of Black Hawk College. We honor the memory of those who are no longer with us. We celebrate the extraordinary service of all those who keep this show on the road, especially these last year and a half. I just can only imagine. And we delight in the prospects that we cannot even imagine that lie ahead. So I say thank you, Blackhawk College, and happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm.